What's happening, y'all? So I thought I'd do another update on the quality control stuff. In my first video that I posted, I uh, was kind of focusing on those rattles on the window control bezel. Um, and some people were thinking that that was the only thing wrong with the truck and that I was making a big deal out of just a couple of rattles. But I'm going to go around the truck and actually show you all the little quirks and annoyances that, that I've had to kind of deal with uh, with this truck that, that haven't been remedied uh, and that, you know, I think are just characteristic of the truck. But just wanted to make this video so you all have an idea of what you're getting into if you're purchasing one of, your, one of these trucks. Um, so the first thing is these grills are super flimsy. It's super cheap plastic. Um, I'm kind of surprised I haven't broken it already by just like washing it, power washing it, uh, or driving on the highway. You can see there's a bunch of bugs, things like that. Rocks have hit it, um, but it's just, it's cheap. You can move this whole thing. It's uh, it's probably not gonna hold up. Same with these vents here. Just take one, one good rock hit. Um, but again, it is what it is. Um, and here, you guys already know, but uh, this rattles. Um, I've talked about this seal, which has now been replaced three times. Um, it seems like there's like play in, in the glass on this side more so than the other one, but they're gonna take a look at it and see what they can do. I'm not holding my breath. It seems like they keep replacing it with the same cheap uh, in-channel and parts. Um, this stuff is just super chintzy and, and poorly put together. I mean, you can just pry it apart. Uh, you can move all this. Uh, this seat's now making a noise. It squeaks every time I, I position myself. Uh, I've already talked about the cheap interior plastics here. You know, this thing squeaks and rattles all the time. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, so they're here in the tailgate. There is a significant gap here in comparison to the other side of the tailgate. And this is a common issue dating back to the 2002 model. So again, nothing new here. Uh, just the quality is not there. Uh, huge gap here. I can stick my whole finger in through here. And then on this side, not so much. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, again, just this one also rattle moves. And as you can tell in the back seat, those controllers don't move. It's pretty solid here. So I don't know, maybe mine, mine is just effective, but just frustrating. You know, I think in my first video, I was a little bit more upset and annoyed with things. Um, you know, I, I do like how this truck drives. There are some great things about it. Maybe I'll do a video of, of all the things that I do enjoy about it. But but right now, these, these little annoyances are, are starting to... They're starting to pile up. Um, you know, you can just, like, pull this stuff apart. It's just super cheap. It just doesn't feel like it's going to last uh, five, eight, ten years. It feels like in a year, half this truck's going to be rattling, falling apart. Um, but uh, I've talked to Toyota Corporate. They recommended I, I uh, schedule a service appointment to have these things looked at. I'm not holding my breath. Again, Toyota has already, the service department has already replaced the, this end channel three times with the same one. So it's not... You know, the fix is that they're replacing it with the same part, and the part is defective. It's a poorly designed, cheap part, and they're continuing to replace it with that. Uh, I think for this, as some of you have mentioned, it should be a pretty easy fix. Last time they told me that this is just how the trucks, all the trucks are. Uh, I don't know if y'all have Tundras out there. If you do, in the comments section, just note if your window control bezels are, are flimsy like mine. Uh, but other than that, you know, the truck does drive well. I do get pretty solid gas mileage with it. Uh, it's quiet for the most part, except for the wind noise when hitting high, highway speeds. Um, and I, I've enjoyed owning it in terms of driving it every day. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. 
but you know they just don't build things like they used to um, it really has me questioning what to do with the truck again I bought a truck so that I could keep it for the next eight to ten years and I just don't know if this thing's gonna hold up uh, at least the interior and again like I mentioned in my first video it has me questioning the, the mechanical bits and wondering if those are gonna hold up uh, see as you know being that they are more complicated and in, in some places more fragile but again I'll keep you all updated and see what Toyota says if I don't you know if I hear something different or if I find something else and I'm just annoyed you know I might I might just cut my losses trade the truck in but you know I'd love to keep it but these things just are adding up and it's getting annoying and I just just don't want to deal with it to be honest with you uh, I'd rather get into something just better quality uh, even if if I have to downsize or something I don't know needed a full size for the family but we'll see but I'll keep y'all updated